Hi everyone, it is July 5th, 2023, and Timmy the cat, there he is somewhere down there. <laughs> he always follows me everywhere and loves to be in the video, so I honor him by trying to get a picture of him for you guys. So here we are out by the greenhouse and I thought it was definitely time to give you a little update on what's going on out here and what plants we have for sale and how they're coming along. So I will go ahead and start on the front of the greenhouse and we'll walk all around the periphery and here we go. Walking out into the greenhouse Everything has green leaves and the fruit is coming. On this area are the figs. There's three different sizes of figs and they are fantastic. Um, they taste so good off the vine. And uh, you do have to bring them in your garage in the winter time. They, you can plant them outside, but you have to uh, cover them up with some leaves and, and like a tarp, etc. Kevin does have some videos on that. And, yes, Timmy, stop rubbing. There he is, right there. And then, further along, these are our maple trees. And we have different sizes of those. Followed by a row of service berries. And they make nice berries. And next to them are chestnuts. So these are Chinese chestnuts. And the ones that we had planted a couple of years back in the front of the property by the road actually are have made last year um, chestnuts and the squirrels are just loving them. In this area are baby shagbark hickory plants. They're grown to the big trees and make those wonderful nuts. Followed by three pussy willows that we have and one high bush cranberry. Next to them are curly willows. And I'll just kind of back up as um, I'm going down the aisle here so you can get a good look at them. And they're really nice. These are the ones that you can have more stand up straight and um, don't get where you see along the road where the big ones snap a lot in the winter and the uh, heavy rains and all. Next to them is the honey locusts. So these are the thornless honey locusts. And there's two rows here, little bigger plants in the first row and the little younger ones in the next row. They have these really cool leaves. I just love them. And turn it around. We have some roseberry plants. And some almond trees. These are Hall's Hardy Almonds. And they're producing almonds out back on our big mature trees. And this is a cranberry tree. And zooming over here. These are our rows of uh, peach trees. So there's a couple of big ones and then some youngsters. And further over, we have some peony plants. And they just got done flowering. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. They were big red flowers. And then we have the other variety, which is the pink ones. So let's walk back to the south part of the greenhouse which is more um, berry plants. So in this area here are the blackberries and you can see they're just starting to make their berries. Hopefully you can see this because the sun kind of reflects out here with me not being able to see as well. Okay so there's three sections of those. These two sections are currants, and they're <clears throat> excuse me called black currants, and they're really healthy for you. The black currants, a little on the tart side, but a lot of people make some jam out of them. Next to them, we have a few 
red raspberries and this guy is just starting to make one down there. Oh, I see there's a couple behind there. Oh, nice. Followed by some ornamental grasses, two different kinds. And next to them are hardy kiwi. And they make tiny little kiwi and they can uh, survive in our area. Next to them are the honeyberries. And they taste kind of like blueberries, uh, but they're a little elongated um, where the blueberries are a little more round looking. And they're delicious. And followed by the elderberry plants. Then we move on and these are currants also. There's pink currants. And there's lots of the red currants are putting up their berries. They're delicious. They're really easy to pick. You just grab your hand and kind of scoop, scoop right off. So they taste really good. So a couple rows of those. We'll turn around this way. And over here are the gooseberries. So gooseberries have little thorns, not too bad, you just can't shove your hand down really fast in there. They're absolutely delicious. And some of the berries are more green with little lighter stripes and others are more pink um, with lighter stripes. These ones here are um, young ones that I just got finished transplanting into bigger pots. So it gives you an idea of the, the coloring there. And in between are the burning bushes. So these are the ones that in the fall and the winter, they end up having those beautiful bright red leaves. They're really nice. And in this last section, following all the way over here, are Josta berries, and that's J-O-S-T-A-B-E-R-R-Y. And they are a cross between two plants that you've already seen here. It is the gooseberries and the black currants. And voila, you have jasta berries. And they make delicious, delicious berries. Um, the darker they are, the riper they are. You can see that in here. There we go. So that's what's happening in the garden. And I hope you enjoyed our little walk around. Um, if you are interested in coming and purchasing any of the plants or have any questions about the plants, feel free to text me. Um, my phone number is 315-729-9376. And, um, and I'll get back to you right away. Take care. Have a wonderful day. It was nice seeing you guys again. Bye-bye.